welcome again to another Pastor's Wife TV. You know, last week we were talking about Leah and we were talking about the madness of rejection. And last week we talked about the attention getting disorder, if you allow me to put it that way. You know, Leah never understood the love of God for her. The Bible says because of Leah, Rachel's womb was closed because of Leah. God looked on Leah and had mercy on her. But Leah, because of the madness of rejection, Leah never understood or even enjoyed the love that God had for her. So she named her first child uh, Reuben, and then the second one she named him Simeon. So we're on the third one and on this madness of rejection. But this time I want to talk to you about what the, the uh, instead of attention deficit, uh, attention getting disorder, I want to talk to you about one other production or the, 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 the danger you get from uh, the madness of rejection or, you know, the, the zone and the corner that the madness of rejection can put you. And one of it is fear. When you are afraid, you do some things that that you, you're not, ordinarily you're not supposed to do. But because you're afraid, you begin to, you know, uh, um, lay hands on things and say some things and, and even put yourself in some corners where you're not supposed to be because of fear. You know, madness of rejection. Rejection will produce fear in your heart. And the moment you're afraid, you begin to do some things that are not supposed to, you're not supposed to do. For example, Leah had the third son and she called him Levi, and this is what she said in Genesis um, chapter 29, verse 34. And she said, now this time, my husband will become attached to me because I have borne him three sons. It is, Leah, it's not what you do. It is not what you're doing or how much you're doing. It's who you are. It's who you are that matters. So who are you, Leah? Are you Leah because of the three sons that you have? Do you get do you get the drift, right? Uh, sometimes we, because of the many things that God has blessed us with, we begin to attach our identity to it. And Leah attached her identity to her sons. Now she's a little bit moving away from uh, her husband attaching to her. So it, it, it is not the, the, the quantity, but it's the quality. A lot of times we'll rush to do some things, uh, but, but, but then we don't take pain to do it the right way. Have you ever asked someone to help you do some things and they rush to go and do it for you just to, just to please you and they're not really doing it right? They're not asking direction from you. Sometimes the, you know, the fear of rejection, the fear of, of not, not being accepted will make you do some things that are not right. So it's not, it's not the quantity. But it's the quality. It's not the number of sons. It's not the number of the things that God has done for you. But how much do you value what God has done for you? How much do you even value yourself in the things that God has done for you? So Leah had the, the, the third child and she called him Levi. Now Leah now had number four and his name was Judah. Leah had Judah, and I, I think at this time Leah came to her senses, just to understand that it's not it's not the children, but it's it's what God has done for me. She she looked at, around her and she she now realized that she has been favored by God, and she said, "I will name this one praise." And the Bible says, the moment she named Judah praise, the Bible says that Leah stopped giving children. Leah had Judah all this while in her lands, but she was busy. She was very busy counting the numbers. 
counting, trying to get back to her sister, trying to, you know, do things that will make her be loved. Now she's afraid. Let me tell you a little bit about fear. Sometimes when you are afraid, uh, you begin to uh, cringe and you do some things that you're not supposed to do. Sometimes rejection will keep you in your feelings. And you start living by feelings, how you feel. Uh, you know, the way someone is looking at me, they're not looking at me right. Because they're not looking at me right, I feel that they hate me. But, 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 hello, that person may be having a bad time. And it's not about you. Rejection, the fear of the madness of rejection will keep you in your feelings. And you'll never be able to, and so most of the time, and all the time, really, you can't connect with God by your feelings. So you need to disconnect with your feelings. You need to attach back to faith. Faith in the Lord that has created you. Don't go by your feelings because your feelings can be up today and can be down tomorrow. Your feelings are not the right connecting spot. The, the right connecting uh, ver verb or vibe that you should really uh, connect with God with. Because God don't go by your feeling. God goes by your faith. Faith in him that has called you, created you, that he's able to do everything that you need uh, for him to do. Because he knows you better than any other person. Um, I am going to connect back with you next week about Judah. There's a lot about Judah that you need to know about Leah and Judah. Leah and Judah. How does this connect to you? Because 2020 is the right year for you to arise and shine. This is the year for you to be able to attain to all that God have created you to be. I love you. Ciao. This is your cheerleader, Pastor Mabel Talabi. Bye-bye.